Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Try It Out Tuesday. Um, I hope we're okay. I'm so sorry for missing last week. Um, <clears throat> just one of those things, unfortunately, but everything's fine. So we'll just, as usual, we'll wait for a few people to get on board and then we will get started. Okay. Here we are. Hello, Alison. Alrighty. Hi, Ali. Right. <clears throat> we'll start talking through what I'm going to do anyway. Because I have a plan, which means it will not go to plan. But I do have a plan. <clears throat> Hi, Linda. Hi, Fiona. Right. So tonight we're going to be doing some art journaling. And we're going to be using the Dina Wakely Media Journal. I've shown you through this journal lots of times, but if anybody does want to look, let me know and I will show you through it. Um, Sonia, hello, my lovely. I have been looking for you, my duck. I hope you're okay. Um, and Sam's here as well to answer any questions you might have. But yeah, so I'm going to, but if you do want me to look through the journal, just shout up and, I'll, and if I see it, I will do my best to do that. So yeah, we're going to be working in, oh, I'm getting hot already. We're going to be working in the um, Dina Wakely Media Journal, okay? And we're going to be using some inkables and we're going to be using some Dilutions paint and Distress Oxide, some various different bits and various different Bee Crafty stamps. Now, the colours tonight have been picked from, if you saw my Instagram story earlier today, I was stamping up some of the Dandy Daisies on um, just some mop-up sheets and whatever, and then cutting them out, which I think look absolutely beautiful. I think they look so pretty. So what I did was, basically, I selected the colours that I saw dominating in these, and I thought that's what we'll work on tonight. Okay, because I just thought they looked so beautiful. So I'm going to be using the three colours down here and that will be, will be blending and painting and ha making a bit of a mess. Okay, now you may recall um, I have mentioned a few times I want to get into making my journal pages slightly more dynamic, maybe some more patterned edges, maybe some um, cutout sections and whatever. Um, and I did do that in my little black... Illusions journal, didn't I? I cut, I cut several pages um, to create a sort of like a tab system. Well, what I've done tonight, I could only go around the edges. I was actually planning to cut out some circles, but I have temporarily misplaced my craft knife. But I'm walking around my, I'm walking around my craft room. I say that as if it's massive. It is an oversized cupboard, um, but I am barefooted in my craft room. So if it turns up, I'll know instantly. Um, so <laughs> but what I did was I have cut out. Um, just around the outside to give this edge and then i've doodled in with the but i have drawn the circles because like i said i was planning to cut them out but it's just to give it a bit more of a dynamic edge i am trying to do this journal from the front now and do every page but this was the first um cotton paper page i had um that was blank on both sides and um, so it didn't already have something on um so that's why i have gone for this one all right so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start laying some colour down. Like I've got I've got a few ideas about how I want um, to go, but none of those are set in stone. It never, ever works that way for me. Um, so if you're new here, I'm sorry about that. We just sort of go with the flow, really, without worrying too much about where we might end up. So I'm going to be using... I don't know whether to use... Ooh, my Big Dina or my One Inch Brush. I think I'm going to go with my one inch Dina brush just to mix it up. Okay, so I've got the bubblegum pink and lemon zest. But I think, for example, the tropical sangria and lemon drop would work quite well as well. So it depended on what colours you have. I have shook them up a bit already, but I am just going to give them another rattle while you guys are here. Okay, so I'm going to put some of my bubblegum pink there 
that one's already lemon zest, so I'll put that one in there. Okay, I've got a little bit of water. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to... This is this page has not been gessoed, okay? But I am going to give it a little watery wash to start with so the paint will move nice and easily on top. You don't have to do that. It's not a prerequisite. Um, but I tend to do that before using all Dilutions products, to be honest, if I remember, which isn't all the time. So basically, I'm going to do a little bit of colour blocking but I don't want to go all the way to the dots but you see how you get this lovely wicking effect because the the page is already wet okay so it's literally it's just another way to use them okay and then I'm going to go in I put a bit too much paint in haven't I Okay, I'm going to get those little orange elements now from where the two are blending. Okay, and then I'm going to take this here. This is our Inkables Big One Fern Flourish, I want to say. And I'm going to take my painty towel, and I'm just going to wet the end. And I'm just going to go through and lift some of this off if I can just so we've got a little bit you can see where it's lying in there let me just put that back but what I might actually do as well is go in a little bit with the yellows over here actually I think that's actually going to work better oh flippery light there we go and then I'm just going to do it ever so lightly, not too dense. And then I'm going to come over, because although I do want this to be quite white, we could do the pattern sort of lightly coming out. Again, just add a little bit of water, make that nice and sort of loose looking. And do you know what? I'm actually going to invert it and use that bit of paint that's on there rather than waste it. Okay, then we're going to give that a bit of a dry with the heat tool. I forgot about the multi bar and the big ones, Sam. But yeah, there is now a multi bar and the big ones. Um, So that's going to need a little bit of a dry. Because obviously we did get it quite wet to start. Okay. You can also, the thing with Dilutions paint, it's all the brilliant ways you can apply it. So for example, your foam daubers. Let me get that template back in. Or should we get a different one? Let's get the bake well. We all know I want to do it. So this is my battered bake well that I use for texture discs okay so you can also with your dilutions paint work it in to your dauber okay go through your templates this way and add in detail okay I'll put a bit more in there for example so you can do it brush, dauber, anything like that. You've got loads of possibilities open to you. In fairness, I always used to do Dilutions paint just with a dauber. Okay. So there's lots of different ways. And if you're if you're having a play in your journal, literally do that. Have a play. Say, oh, I'm going to have a go with that. Oh, there's a sponge over there. I haven't tried it with that one. You know, and, because that's what your journal's for. Like I say, even when I have a plan, the chances of it finishing ending looking like the plan is very, very slim. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. <clears throat> now, like I was saying, I used the Circles Inkable 
six by six in inkable to do this edge. Okay. So what I did was I put it this way round. Okay. And then so that this circle matched up so that so that I could extend it. I just flipped it over. And then that meant I could extend the pattern all the way down the page. Okay. So that's that one. A battered bakewell. Oh dear. Right, so from here, I'm going to go to my Distress Oxides, okay? I'm going to go to, um, lots of people have been talking about the brushes recently. I have a couple of different sets of brushes. Um, this was my second set I bought from that well-known river. Um, and I like these ones because they're sort of colour coordinated, so I can tell what colours I'm supposed to be using. But I did buy sort of like a mixed set of sizes, of the makeup brushes first time round and they're really good as well but yeah we just have the ones from the river um at the minute because they're the ones we like and they're cheap and they're easy to get right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my picked raspberry okay and we're going to go in I'm going to blend out towards the painted section. Okay. I'm going to save myself the trouble and flip it straight over and do a second section here. Okay. And then we'll go to uh, orange, which I picked spice marmalade again. And then, oh yeah, it's not a dye. I use just cut round your inkables. Because obviously, getting your dye in, in to work in your journal, it, that's that. Pfft. Best word in the world, that sounds really, really awkward. Um, so this way, you can use any of your inkables that have got a decorative edge. Do you see what I mean? So, you know, you've got the multi-stars. You could use your... Um, Easy frames to create a, a separate pattern. You know, the, the mandalas to create a zigzags, um, different sort of mandala edges. We'll do, do you know what? We'll do loads. That's what we'll do this month. We'll do, we'll do edges. We'll do edges. Okay. And then I'm going to go back in with my mustard seed. Again, if you have squeezed lemonade, that would be great too. You know, we're all about... Getting the best out of what you can. Okay, so as you can see, awkward, yeah. Um, that was awkward for anyone that's, you know, didn't get that one. <laughs> so we've got, now we've got this lovely, hello Julia, my love. So now we've got this lovely edge and our background, and, and that's in minutes, in minutes made. Think of how quickly I could have done that had I not been wittering through it. Do you know what I mean? So this is a very real risk of me falling in love with it, isn't it? I mean, we all know it. We all know it. Right. So in order to stop that in its tracks, I'm going to grab some of the white script washi tape. Okay. And we're going to cover some of it up to just, you know. keep me on track somebody should oh look at that little bit there that's just peeled off that looks perfect to go right about there okay this bit i think what we'll do is we'll it'd make a cracking edge for a card too caroline this is the thing i work in my journal a lot on the lives and you'll find um on youtube the lives um where i've been working in my journal that every single one of the techniques without exception okay every single one of the techniques you can transfer to card making okay so if you like the way something's done in a journal you can totally transfer that to your card making it is not an us and them thing i make cards i like making cards they're pretty okay um i like sending cards but 
I like to keep my techniques in my journal as well. <laughs> so, you know, keep falling in love with your backgrounds at the moment. I'm not surprised, Alison, you're making some beautiful backgrounds. So that's probably why, my love. So you know what I mean? Actually, we're going to... Okay, well, let's line up that edge with that edge and just give that a little bit more something to talk about. Put that down the middle of there. <laughs> and that bit can just go back on. Okay, because that's enough. That's enough, I think. Right. Now, what I am just going to quickly do with this which you don't have to do i'm just going to do it because i i do a lot of flicking through my journals to show you guys i'm just going to give this a quick whiz over with some collage medium um to keep make sure my washi doesn't lift i got my collage medium stuck in the door I stored it the wrong way up. Bear with. Need a pin. Oh, it's getting warm. Getting warm. Remember I said about craft knife. It will come in really handy right about now. <laughs> I'm sure I've got me a new pot of collage medium. I did, I did. We'll go with that instead of the tube. What am I doing? <clears throat> okay, so this is the collage mat medium. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see that little bit is just starting to lift there. Could be the heat, could be who knows what. What we're going to do is we're just going to give a quick flick over. Where'd that blue come from? That's a cheeky little blue bit, isn't it? I'm going to have a quick go over with the matte medium. I'm not going to do it too much over here because it might activate the oxide. But then again, does it really matter? Okay. And then that's going to dry beautifully matte. No one will know it's there. And now I can use anything else on top as well without worrying about anything running or anything like that. Lovely. And that will keep that stuck down. So I think what we need to do now is to decide where do we go next. I think... I think what we should do is grab some easy frames, maybe. I'm going to grab... Last time I was here, I was using, I believe... I can't remember if it was last time I was here. I do a lot of lives. Okay. If you'd done this, you'd sit and admire it for weeks. No more, you're not allowed. You've got to put something else on top. <laughs> okay. Um. So this is the small circle easy frame. Okay, I'm going to give this a waft just to hurry up. And this is a small circle easy frame. And you do get an innie with it as well. Um. Actually, I might use the innie instead. Bear with me. We're going for circle vibes, aren't we, tonight? So I just thought the circle easy frame would work quite nice. Um, because, oh, let me just lift that up a bit. Because it'll just go with the circle border we've got going on there. Okay. I'm absolutely loving these colours. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if you Again, if you haven't been here before, what this will mean is, because this is a very warm page, this page on the linen will have to be very cold colours because if the pages don't match then they have to really not match if it's not a double layout it has to be very very different okay so let me get my little innie circle come on let's face it everybody was very impressed then that i put my hands straight on the little circle come on be impressed with me that was pretty good i may have sorted out some of my inkables today in between cutting you've got to have a break you can't spend your life cutting right so <laughs> what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my innie 
here. Okay, and I think I'm going to go with pink raspberry. Let's really sort of keep going with the pink. Um, and I'm going to get this on our brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to work outward so that the negative space of the circle, okay, um, is what retains the pattern underneath. Okay, miracles thanks to your eldest daughter. In fact, no shaz because it turns out as Abby was collecting up the, the, the shall we say, inkables that had gone astray, she was just putting them straight into my tubs, which I had actually sorted into alphabetical order. Thank you very much. It's the one part. Anyway, moving swiftly onwards. Right, so I'm going to just work my way out. You don't need to use a lot of colour. We're not trying to completely obliterate what's behind the circle either, because if you lift that up now, do you see what I mean? You can actually create that sort of shadow effect, still see the pattern underneath, and get the shadow. So that's what we like. So I'm going to go a bit further out this time. I'm actually going to go onto the circle border as well. That way it's all very intentional, isn't it? Oh, now then. Okay. And then go again. And just work our way round. If you want to, you can also always use a removable tape to stick these down when you're doing this. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to try and hold it and get pink fingers and all this sort of thing if you don't want to. Honestly, they are in alphabetical order. Do you want to see? So here's my six by sixes. Okay, so then we've got alternate circles, anchor, arrows, basket weave, bats. I think that proves my point. Okay, but yes, they're all. And do you know what the funny thing is? The duplicates you find. Okay, so perspective circles. One, two, three. What else we got? Oh, shall we use some perspective circles as we've got some? Yeah, why not? Um, and then, you know, the, an array of honeycombs. That's my current favourite, the honeycomb multi. Um, what else did I have multiples of? Loads, loads I've got multiples of. Loads. <clears throat> Let's not even pretend it's only one or two. It's a lot. But I am a lot. Right, from here. We're actually going to get our black soot oxide because we've got stamping um, in black soot. Okay, so we're going to take this one here. Okay, I use this one for my greys and my blacks, but I have to say I do rub it off, um, rub the excess ink off after because otherwise, you know. If you just want a grey and it comes in black, it's just a bit too much. I'm just going to add in then a few here. And then a few over here. And that's just adding a bit more. Okay, that's a nice big pot of centers. Yes, it is. Okay, multiples a good one to keep clean. Well, it's like my big one bake well, isn't it? It's sort of like I have ones I'll happily use for texture paste, and then ones that no, one I have to keep clean. And never the twain shall meet. All right. So I think this is sort of, but do you see what I mean? So, okay, Mo, was it Moira that said she'd spend her life looking at that? Now let me just scroll back, see if I can see it. Okay. So if you created something like this, so what do you think of it with the things I've added to it? Okay. Because if you like the things I've added to it, that wouldn't have happened if we'd have just sat and looked at it. Do you see what I mean? So it's always about... Um, Yes, it is beautiful as it is, but you can take it further. It's knowing when to stop, okay? 
Um, I don't I don't necessarily have that talent. I'm not saying you should. <laughs> Our regular again, if you've been here before, you'll have seen Sam and, and several of the other regular regular visitors on Try Out Tuesday. Shout stop in the comments because I will just keep going. <clears throat> it's not an exact science, but you know, I'm working on it. All right. So I'm thinking to add on here in terms of stamping texture, because we've got a lovely array of inkables texture on here now. Okay. Um, I'm going to add on some of the journal art elements number three. Um, again, if you haven't been in before, there are two other journal art elements that should be apparent, but I never like to assume, you know, what they say about assuming and asses. Anyway, um, so... The Journal of Elements 3 is my current favourite. It's better, but I'd have admired the first one for a bit. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I love this one. It's got some lovely little circle elements on it. We can bring in some of the hearts as well if we want to. So you have, you've have you got that to work with as well. But again, it's just sort of going until you're happy, until you think, do you know what? Yeah, I'm ready to start adding my feature images now. Um, now I'm going to carry on. I'm actually going to stamp with my Distress Oxide. You could go to your um, archivals now as well because um, you know they're really good. They don't move. And all this sort of thing. So I'm going to use this sort of dotty thing. This hand drawn dotty thing. I think this would actually, the more I look at this, I think it would make like a really good leopard leopard print if you wanted it to. You could fill in the colours if you knew how to do that. You know, I'm not because I'm not saying I do. I would have to look at a leopard grid first. A leopard grid. I was reading then at the same time. Right, so then we've got this little grid with some ink splats on it. This I'm gonna use freehand okay so this is something i regularly do when i'm doing backgrounds i will just put the stamps on my hand and we'll add a little bit of grid detail maybe a little bit up in that corner but then then i've got four so that's no good to me five okay and then some of these dots here so these are sort of like an inky splatty dot with some um, typewriter text in it's the same font that i use for the incredible words and the typewriter alphabet okay good for frog spawn alley oh oh um, do you know what babes i'm going to take your word for that i just haven't used them in that way i'm obviously missing out right so the reason I have gone with, again, you, a lot of you guys will know, I tend to go to Versify and Claire once I start stamping in black. The reason I've gone with um, the Distress is the texture surface of this cardstock does um, does come up through oxide. You know, you, you'll see it on the stamp. And that's what I wanted because I wanted the background to look as daft as it sounds as if it was all one piece although we've layered up obviously we haven't really added any depth because it is just ink layers okay so i wanted to look like for example it could have just been a printed sheet just nice nice and smooth um but with but retaining the texture the natural texture of the the cotton paper from underneath all right because i love that in fairness if you have seen or have our butterfly ink paper pack although it's perfectly smooth you'll see it's got sort of like it's printed a sort of texture and um, let me see if i've got a bigger sheet there you go so this is actually perfectly smooth but you can see it's got the texture um, and that's because i love that so i make sure that's included um when i do backing papers because it's pretty and i like it um all righty um what have i missed i know i've missed something ah there we are this circle here of course so we'll go 
with our black soot I'm just going to go around a couple of the bigger circles on this border no, it's no good, I'm going to have to do the end ones Um, there we go. Now, I think we're at the time where we can start adding on some of our finished images. So, like I said, I was going with this was actually inspired by the dandy daisies. Now, I was actually planning to put only one dandy daisy on here, um, but I've now obviously I've done the three circles, um, so I will probably. Do three. I think I got it right the first time actually. I think that's probably the right way. Do we think that's the right way? All right. Okay. So I'm going to grab my collage medium. Put those two back in the tray. Uh, yeah, I had planned to use just one. It's it's funny that, isn't it? So I was going to do some little short videos making tags with the other ones. Well, I have to do them with something else now. Okay, and here we go. So yeah, I hope you don't mind me doing the cutting out um, in terms of prep, but obviously if I had to cut out all the edge there and then had to cut out these three, that would take pretty much the whole hour within itself. We don't want that, do we? And then we'll... this on here now for the words for the words I was thinking I'm not gonna lie I'm just gonna put that on there because we will be using more collage medium in a second um, I was thinking of the incredible words but I have stamped out some of Ticket tape four. Um, so do I do those or do I do? the incredible words just cutting some of those out as well oh not that one because I just threw it on the floor which I think we need something a little bit littler I think we need something littler do you think tick tape 4 or incredible words I will leave that to you guys to ponder for a second. Too big. I agree. I think even if I trim them down, they're still just going to look too much because there's three. For example, if I'd done the one, for example, if I'd just done that one, that would have been fine. But just too much thank you for your assistance at this time I'm thinking of I'm 
The only way to have a friend is to be one. Or I do some of the individual words. Take your eyes away from the flowers, yeah. So. What do we just go with, for example? Beautiful. I will trim these down a little bit more. Beautiful hope. And friendship. <laughs> yeah, I could have. Yeah, I think we'll go with those. But I'm just going to trim them down a little bit smaller because I really do want them to just be. I do all this freehand because I actually think it's better if they're not perfect. But that's my choice. I'm not saying if you would prefer to cut them on a trimmer so all the lines are straight, that's wrong. Who knows? You might just be better at cutting straight lines with your scissors than I am. Which, in fairness, isn't that much of a challenge. You know. I don't mind. <clears throat> the harder I try to cut straight, the wonkier they get. Well, you know the answer there then, don't you, Shook? Try and cut them wonky. You know. That, that would be my next go-to. Oh, the donkeys are home. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put some collage medium on here. Just sit that on there. And basically, this will just sit open until tomorrow when it's all dry. Okay, hope. There. The beautiful thing about collage medium as well is if it, you know, if you get it on something else, the, the matte medium anyway, sorry, not all collage medium because it's not all matte. So the distress matte medium <coughs> is obviously if you get it on something else or it splooches or anything like that, um, you don't get that big glossy glob because it just goes matte. Do you know what I mean? So, that's that. Right, now we need a bit of posterisation. It's going to have to happen, whether you like it or not. I think we'll also have a little bit of some... No, we won't. No, we'll just stick with the poscars. We'll just stick with the poscars. Okay, so I'm just going to have some little... Of a hand drawn hearts up here. And a few more here. And then some dots on a few of these flowers. And some highlights on a couple of the circles. No, I'm not kidding, I'm going to do all the circles. Okay, to make them more sort of bubbly-esque. Then we'll do some lines on this flower. And here. Oh, I think we need... Uh, 
Now just, this is one of these things you don't, you know, no page ever failed because it didn't have white highlights on it, but it's how I like to finish. And once I've done it, I can then happily sort of walk away from the page. colour in some of these little leopard prints I was saying if I wanted to look at all the white space I've left that's big for me isn't it I'm quite shocked you don't have to be impressed but I am that's good white space leaving for me Um, in these ones and I actually think it's done okay you'll be doing this mid-october that's fine my lovely can't wait to see it cannot wait to see it <clears throat> yeah so I, do, I actually I actually am feeling good about walking away oh yeah i have i go back and add, add pages from from year, years ago because i think that sometimes as well you buy yourself a new stamp or a new product um like when i first got embossing glazes distress embossing glazes i was going back and adding embossing glaze to loads of pages just like with my um with my embossing dabber through templates I would go and add embossing glazes to anything. Because <laughs> it's fun. It's fun and I like to. Okay, so I am officially melting. Okay. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. Um, this will be going on to YouTube. If you haven't gone to the YouTube channel yet, please do that and subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Okay, um, Sam has put links on for all the products um, on the Bee Crafty website. Um, we are still continuing as so far with the um, free PMP for stamps. Um, this isn't one of those, whole, but I honestly don't know how long we're going to be able to keep that up for because the postage costs are just getting obscene. So if there is anything you desperately want and you don't want to pay postage on it stamp wise, you know. Um, but Sam has put the links on for all of those. There is now a multi buy on the Inkables big ones too. But like I say, if you need any help at all, you let us know. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye.